introducing the latest Tesla 600 multi-channel groundwater detector. The mainframe system comes mounted on a carry pack for easy transportation and lightweight. It is an inbuilt battery powered system. The system comes with a 6 channel selector switch for transmission and receival. The transmission line, the receival line, the range knob for controlling the frequencies, the control knob to adjust the display contrast. The mainframe system comes along with the supporting accessories, the 6 channel transmission cable, the 6 channel receiver cable. The cables are used for data communication from the ground and the mainframe system. For connecting to the ground, the system comes along with the grounding probes. 12 number of probes, 6 probes for transmission line and the 6 probes for the receiver line. For making a strong connection with the intelligent cable and with the probes, the system also comes with the connector clips, the supporting clips. For data transfer, we have the Android application. The transmission line to be connected to the M6 channel connector on the mainframe system. The connection should be strong to reduce the noise data. After connecting the cable to the mainframe system, the transmission line should be spread on the ground vertically towards the left hand side from the point to be detected for 6 meters. The same way we need to connect the receiver line to the mainframe system. After connecting the cable to the mainframe system, the receiver cable should be spread towards the right hand side from the point to be detected vertically. To make a connection in between the ground and the cables, the probes have to be hammered. After hammering the probe, using the connector provided, we make a strong connection to the probe and the cable. The same way the six transmission probes and the six receiver probes are connected towards the left hand side and towards the right hand side from the point to be detected. On the Android application software, we can record the data. First, we turn on the equipment. The display control is controlled for clear view. In the mainframe system, we need to adjust the frequency range. So the range knob for selecting the first probe's range should be 30 Hz. The first channel can record the data for 100 meters. We select the selector switch to channel 1. And on the Android application, we need to give a password to enter to the system. The starting user interface takes place in between the Android application and the mainframe system. Once connected, we click on the survey to enable the Bluetooth for communication in between the mainframe system and the software application. It scans for the sensor where Finlay sensor should be identified. Once we identify the Finlay sensor, we select the depth range to be detected. For pairing the Bluetooth, we enter the password and the connection in between the sensor system and the software is interfaced. We need to enter the location of the survey to be conducted. We need to enter the client's name. We also need to enter the surveyor's name. These are displayed on reports for further reference. 
once we start the survey we need to click on view to see the data is getting recorded once we click on view we click record for data recording the auto calibration takes place and further the data are recorded one by one at a depth of 8.33 meters each 13 data are collected for each channel the tx refers the transmitted data and rx the received data now after completion of 13 data recording we change the position of the selector switch to the second channel and we decrease the range of the frequencies from 30 hertz to 25 hertz again we record the next set of data where next 13 data are recorded next we change the position of the switch to the third channel and the range is again decreased to 20 hertz for deeper penetration again we record the data and the further 13 data are recorded on the application next we change the position of the selector switch to the fourth channel we tune the frequency to 15 hertz for further penetration and we record the next 13 set of data again we change the position of the switch to the fifth channel we need to tune the frequency range to 10 hertz for deeper penetration the next 13 data are recorded on the application next we need to change the position of the selector switch to sixth channel and the range the frequency range to be tuned to 5 hertz for deeper penetration the final 13 data are collected which ends with 78 frequency data and the report is generated on the report we can see the data is collected from channel 1 channel 2 channel 3 channel 4 channel 5 and channel 6 also it comes with the curve graph interpretation and the layer map interpretation we can also see the final factor that is the compared data from the raw data the 78 data recordings can be seen on the report based on the interpretation we find the low resistance zone preferable for drilling